honor. We about to run some 340s. I'm not about to do anything. Josh well, okay, is Josh about to run some 340s? Hey, let me tell you, I don't feel like a whole couple, a whole second off on you. Let me tell you why Josh is driving. Why are you driving? So back when Hunter was putting this back together the last time, uh huh, it was in a phase where he's drinking regularly. Oh, okay. Good show. Which means he doesn't really remember a lot of what he did or didn't do. Yeah. So really, the reason for Josh to be driving is because he has better health coverage than Hunter. Mmm. Which makes sense. It's logic. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Hunter don't have the health. Damn. <laughs> I'm just being responsible. Okay, that's fun fact of the day. <laughs> fun fact of the day, Hunter don't have insurance. It's all good. You got car insurance, but that's about it. All right, so walk me through everything, Hunter. What all you did today? Uh, today? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, we eat lunch. Uh, I still ain't ate yet. Two season, eight months. Uh, Shane wasn't up, uh, uh, Charge pot. I didn't weld up for the actually beat What do you say, what now? Somebody seen it before and actually talked shit to me about it. I thought I welded it, but I didn't heat it, yeah. so it is welded now. Yeah. Steve uh, put some radials, changed the tires on it. Put brand new radials? No, there's oh. one called uh, Frosty, so we oh, got okay. one test session on them. And uh we're gonna Bar change. I think that might be. That might be it. Really. Might be it. Yeah. Okay. So how long ago did you go to the track before this? Like, was uh, it, was it, it hasn't been uh, at the track uh, since September of 22. September of 22. Okay. Yeah. Is there any reason like why it was out or it was just? Uh, yeah. Well, as far as I had to get some uh, work and stuff done to the. Still in the heads? Yeah. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah. As far as just, I've been driving uh, two other people's cars. Cars, yeah. And just ain't got the time, huh? Yeah, it was, it was cheaper driving their stuff than mine. Yeah. You excited for it to be out yep. in two years? Almost two years? Yep. You know? Oh, yeah. Solved a few issues that you were fighting. Yeah. And, uh, and hopefully it'll prove me right. What issues was you having uh, when you fighting? Like uh, when it was up? Uh, valve train issues. Uh, yeah. A little too much uh, frequency in the in the valve train and uh, back pressure issue uh, mm -hmm. from you know single single turbo car. So. Yeah. I think I got something figured out in, on the uh, four link, which is why we're doing this right here. Mm -hmm. Bad pressure. Yeah, I changed the camshaft in it too. Okay, okay. And made some changes in the in the valve train and the uh, cylinder head. So. So what what you expecting to do first out and since? I mean, first time you go down the track. I mean, the tune up that's in it is like a forty one or something and it should at least uh do that if not better without changing anything because if the changes are made did did fix you know did help yeah but it might go the other direction it might be slower okay nice man nice man well, we'll find out yes sir got a couple more hours and we're gonna be outside with yep. yes sir They're not DOT like the pro. Yeah. Uh, it won't go that far if we move the top up on the axle bracket. So it'll lower it. We don't really want to move it down this way. Yeah, it's a little bit of a wheel press. Big hammer time. Hey. Big shoot. Hey, let me talk like fudge.
Hey, yeah, me tell you something right now. Right in the damn microphone. Felt like this that's what it takes to get the phone. Man, yeah. fuck the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> the microphone. The phone just screaming the damn thing. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> this a fucking microphone. Yeah, fuck the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> microphone. Damn. Josh, what just what get doing, right man? in it, scream. What the business is, Josh? We're, We're fixing to find out. We are fixing to find out. Sit down. Sit down. We're fixing to find out. Yeah. Oh, you got a whole damn NHRA suit on. Well, I gotta get it ready for the pro mod. Oh, you gotta get it ready for the yeah. pro mod. How you feeling about that, man? I'm excited about that. It ought to be way less stress than this. There's gonna be a lot less people. You got uh, Hammer Time is diversified now. You got yeah. the street cars, you got daily drivers, you yep. got small cars. Golf tires. carts, you got smart cars, oh, yeah. my cars. Yep. Uh, you hey, got battery charger. Yeah, we ready. All right, no, no kids. Y'all go that way. Baby, sit down. Sit down. All right, baby. Throw them foes up, baby. Throw them, throw them foes up. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right, we ready. fire drill you gotta do a fire drill every now and again right <laughs> so you sometimes you just gotta practice so we sprayed the fire extinguishers made sure they all worked on the track galen's galen's track passed the fire safety test everything worked properly so it's just yeah. a fire drill that's it that's all it was but, bailey but, bailey did, wanted did, to do a you, fire drill did you stop drop and roll you supposed yeah y'all didn't see me rolling around Nah, you were doing this no nah, i got out i nah, got man. stuck and rolled around he three fell times out of the car. yeah i fell out of the damn car the car i got down there he was in his underwear like that, that yeah. movie ricky bobby <laughs> yeah right ricky, ricky bobby ricky bobby help me i said no nah, you good you good y'all let me run for a minute <laughs> oh like an old dog we let him run down he came back hey yeah hey, how was Josh, it how was josh what was he doing he was in his jaws nah, as soon as i got down there he said, man i'm sorry that's, that's hot rod that's why you buy all this equipment because hot rods yeah. hot rods are, yeah they're angry little animals we just wanted to test the track safety equipment they, that's all they it passed, is. So the fire marshal yeah. don't even have to show up now. We yeah, know yeah. it's all working properly. <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah. All right, I'm out of here. You gone? We gone. I'm going to the house. That was too much excitement for me, Galen. Oh, We're going to no. have to get a new microphone. Fuck's still screaming in it every time he comes by. <laughs> man, all right, man. Yeah, Fuck the microphone. <laughs> the microphone. It ain't that bad, though. It no. don't look... No that bad 
No, hell, it could have been way worse. Yeah. For yeah. sure. For sure. That I, mean, that cars, um, I mean, we've already started the car back up. There's, there's no issues with it. So it's no internal damage. No, no, no. Huh. It's cosmetic, cosmetic. Uh, you know, we got some uh, plastic uh, lines, of course, that are that are melted in half. Mm. Uh, you know, the big thing, the obvious thing is uh, that stands out is like see this is part of the ft spark harness mm -hmm. and it did melt the uh sheathing off but the wires don't even look like they've ever seen a flame if you come over here to this whatever this was wired with the sheathing's melt and then hell there we're down to copper wiring so that just goes to show as far as the the quality of the wiring for fuel tech i mean they yeah. they're using the best whatever the best wire is mm -hmm. and there is a difference a lot of people do try to save money yeah. On wiring, and I mean, as Steve knows as far as you've got to buy, you got to spend the money on as far as yeah, wiring. There's for sure. no, there's you have to spend the money on good shit. I mean, there's mm -hmm. uh, you just have to. But as far as uh, pretty much, we got we know what happened. As far as uh, now, the the catch can has been in the front of this car for six years. Mm -hmm. It had never been an issue, and it's one of those things as far as if it. If it's uh, not a problem, you just, you're, there's other stuff to always fix. Yeah. So you don't you don't deal with it. I I've known and and uh, and wanted to or you know known that the, the the puke tank and stuff should be in the back of the car. Mm -hmm. You know as far as that's where it should be. There's fumes coming out of it no matter what. There there's it's fuel saturated with some oil fumes that are always breathing out of it. And all it needs is a is a flame to ignite it, and that's what happened. As far as I'm pretty sure, uh, it it got on the traction control, and 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 as far as it did backfire, you know, and that was enough flame mm -hmm. to ignite that, and then there you go. As far as you got a fire, yeah. Uh, as far as uh, that, the we there's nothing wrong with the engine. We started it last night. And I drove, I, I drove, yeah. and turned it around and drove to the shop after we got enough dust and stuff off of it that it wasn't going to get sucked up in the engine or what have you. But, uh, so that has to be what it was. I mean, as far as if you look at the video, it just, it came out of both exhausts. Mm -hmm. And what the one that I'm thinking that did ignite this is the wastegate, uh, you know, as far as it's right here and it's pointed down. So if you have fire here, and yeah, you have fumes here, you know, that's a whole lot easier to ignite than if you got fire out here with mm -hmm. air and stuff going down the track. I don't think that would ever ignite. That's, but once you have it coming out of, it had to come out of this wastegate. Mm -hmm. So that's where the biggest, where the fire under the car, where you see it, it came out on this side only, but both yeah. was off. So that's, it was just one of those deals and uh, it was just 100% uh, coincidence that it happened to be the the first time that, that Josh was driving the car, that was 100 yeah. percent coincidence. Uh, uh, and and it's probably it's if it's anybody's fault, it's mine because I should have moved that thing to the trunk. It should have mm -hmm. never been up here, really. As far as if you, if, you know, it, just because it went six years without an issue, don't mean that one time. So, uh, but the way the nature of race car is is. If it's not done the way you want it from the get-go, mm -hmm. but it ends up working and functioning and not causing any problems, it's way less likely to be fixed or changed going down the road because you always have, you know, you always need to pull the engine out or do this or put a bigger turbo or change this or, you know, to be, or put a different ECU in. You, ain't, you got stuff as far as other stuff to do. There's always something to do in a race car. There's never mm -hmm. nothing to do on a race car. There's not a race. I, there's not a race car out there right now that doesn't need some kind of maintenance, some For kind sure. of work, whether it be a replacing a fitting or a bolt or this or fixing a leak or something. Mm -hmm. You know, so it just gets put on the back burner. And uh, as far as that's my uh, very uh, uh, explanation, experienced yeah. and educated, highly yeah. educated yeah. opinion on. Uh, is it gonna be like a quick fix? It's like a quick, not well, a quick fix. Went, we, literally, the car could go down the track right now. 
Okay, for sure. But it's not going back to the track until the tank's in the trunk. And, yeah. you know, as far as there's, it's way less, there's, I mean, if we had fumes back there, it ain't going to get ignited from up here. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's one of those things I have seen in the past where if people wreck the car, it'll, it, you know, mm -hmm. it can do that. There is, there's, there's more ignitable on a turbo car with wastegates and stuff up here. Mm -hmm. You do have a higher chance of igniting, you know, something than say a, where everything's coming out the back or what have you. But I mean, on the flip side, everybody says, there's a lot of people that say, I will not put a fuel cell in the front of a car. If you put that thing in the guardrail head on, yes. But the way I look at that too, though, is you can put a guardrail backwards and you know, car in a guardrail backwards and do the same shit. Plus I don't want to run a cable drive and all this other problems. Mm -hmm. But the positive, for sure. <clears throat> the positive is, Fire suppression to this job, it works. For sure. Nothing. Josh is okay. Yeah, yeah for sure. And, for sure. You know, never thought I'd see the day. We'll, we'll be at the track in less than two weeks. Yeah. Two weeks. Oh, in uh. two weeks. Not this next weekend, but the weekend after we go. And we can push it and make it sooner than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh. We're diehards, we go back to the track. Nah, no, sit this one out. <laughs> what coach say when you injured a little bit? Let's yeah. just set this one out. That's right. We'll let Andrew. We got a sprained ankle. That's what we call it. We got a sprained ankle. So just yeah, sit this one out. And, and, yeah. uh, and as far as we don't want to rush it either, we don't want to just throw something back there. Yeah. Uh, it, it's an afterthought no matter what. It's hard to. The, reason, the main reason that this hasn't been addressed yet is because if you look at a car that was, was not designed to have a few tank in the rear, you have to add hoses. And you have to do. And it always, to me, it never looks. You can always look at it and be like, they didn't, it wasn't built like that from the get go. You know, as far mm -hmm. as like on the pro mod over here, it's got a, the tanks in the rear, but it was from the get go was built to have it and it, it runs through the double frame rail and it looks like it was meant to have it. It's not an afterthought, you know, as far as, uh, so no matter what, it, it's, it's not going to look, you, you're just going to look at it and be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, they didn't do, they didn't build the car from the get go. To have a tank over here. And it just, it just, it's an average. It's a, but like I said, sometimes racers or people, any, every, anybody, mm -hmm. if you have something that is not causing you a problem, it doesn't get attention. You know, as far as that hadn't caused a problem, but it was just as likely to do this the day it was put in six years ago as it was last night. Sometimes, you know, uh, as far as us just being humans, Sometimes need to learn a uh, hard lesson on some stuff. For sure. And uh, that's that's all it is. So all right. adapt and, and go on. I will say this though, as far as uh, when Josh was out of the car before I got there, because I had there had a, uh, a fire system in the car, mm -hmm. and then I had a uh, there was an extinguisher mounted on a quick release to the to the bar, mm -hmm. a little handheld. He pulled that, and then to on a note though, as far as on the fire system. The only nozzles in the in the engine compartment are back here. It would have been really nice, and it may not be. It'd be a whole lot less damage, I would say, yeah. if there was a couple up here, which is the way we now do it. Yeah. Anyway, before this, so it needed a couple more nozzles. That would have been would have been better. He got out. He was knew the car was on fire. He was the only one that really that knew the car was on fire. But, Spraying the, uh, he used the little, I don't even know where it's at anymore, but the uh, fire extinguisher. Yeah. Handheld. I got yeah. there as far as with the car was on fire, so I look over the uh, retainer wall. About 50 foot down, there was a fire extinguisher in most tracks. I think, I don't mm -hmm. know if it's supposed to have them or is that yeah. just a curtain? Okay. And so yeah. uh, I knew they were there. I ran down, got that, came back was able to get in there, but prior to that, with the handheld fire extinguisher that was in the car, Josh knew there was a fire here, and he was pulling so hard on the hood to try to get it up to get to it, yeah. that he literally, there was a bolt here that had the oh. fender, but he pulled the threads out of this tab, Yeah. and the bolt was on the ground. He literally pulled all this shit up, and he pulled the threads out. So that's why this is all popping and shit around. 
around. Oh, okay. And, okay. Uh, yeah, because when we backed the car up, there was a bolt there. And I was like, okay, well, yeah, there's no threads in now. He was janking on this shit. So, but, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. I, I, honestly, as far as damage, I'd say it's pretty minimum. Uh, like I said, the car would start right now. I mean, there's some cosmetic stuff here. The hood is, it's over there. It's got a... When I, whenever I got to the car, it was bubbling up and doing all kinds of weird stuff. Mm -hmm. When it cooled down, there's just, you know, as far as it's a, it's got a big low spot and stuff in it. And, uh, um, so yeah, most of it is cosmetic. Um, I hate to call it a learning experience because our, you know, as far as we all know this, mm -hmm. potentially could happen. Uh, and it was one of those deals that were on the checklist of stuff to do, but sometimes you just gotta learn the hard way and to get your, you know, get off your ass and and do the little stuff that isn't fun to do. It yeah. doesn't make the car faster. Doesn't make the car look any better. Yeah. It's just it's something that's just gonna take time and, and you know as far as time and money and to do on it with no no. Uh, Results, I guess you could say. It's not like mm -hmm. we're going to do all this when we go in the car. We're going to run two numbers faster. Yeah. Um, so, but it won't. It won't ever happen like this again. All right. Well, appreciate you got anything you. you want to add to it? Mm -hmm. So, thank God everybody's safe. And yeah. The car got yeah. put out relatively quickly with minimal damage. And yes, sir. It's, it's like they, there's a lot of sayings that go this way, but. Only so long before something happens. And For sure. Yesterday was the day that we had to deal with that. Yeah. For sure. Uh, I do have one thing to add, though, as far as my biggest concern, and you can answer, is I, I wasn't worried about this bumper, the hood, or this any of this stuff. I was worried about as far as if the engine was okay. I got back, and it's. I mean, Josh, <laughs> I thought he, he was going to say Josh. He said I had to cut it off. It was still yeah. running. He had to shut the power off to cut it off. Yeah. Um, when he got back and started it, which was a big relief. But I will say this, as far as had in this whole situation, if this had an LS in it, it wouldn't have restarted. That motor would be jumping. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. Uh, well, all right, Hunter. It'd need, well. it'd, need a, it'd, need a, it'd, need a, it'd need a whole engine because half of it would be melted off. Damn. Okay, for sure, Hunter. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. LS would not restart. This thing ready to make another pass. Damn. All right, Hunter. Well. We appreciate you, Hunter. Yep. Glad everybody all right. <laughs>